is the DMC server recommended for both the B2B uh, outbound and inbound interfaces in the PI architecture, specifically for comparing DMC? See what it says here. Comparing DMC and Web Dispatcher. What are the the different options recommended for a, a, a PI architecture for for B2B? Um, so this has. Um, some some uh, some implications and so so inbound um there's yeah i think there's a, a big need to for for some of these things um and i guess that's a good thing i got my whiteboard today Yay! i just need to figure out how i'm i'm putting something on it but can't be ready um so if you have your, let's see here we are, we have your PI system here, you have your internet here, and you have your firewall uh, inside here. I should have put it lower down. Just put it a little lower down so we don't get that much reflection on it. PI, firewall, and maybe a firewall too. Uh, so if you're coming in with a crest here, you would normally have a DMC here. And in this request, can you see this? Oh, you need to be in the, the Facebook Live to, to see this, obviously. Um, but the request will come in here and you would route it into the, the PI. Um, some some people have been arguing that you needed to put your PI system out in the DMC, but I would uh, recommend uh, not recommend that. That's a little uh, too much information that you're putting in inside of it, um, and maybe a little too too challenging if you're doing that also to get uh, internal systems. So. Um, most of the time i would just recommend that you put a, your web dispatcher out here i'll put a web dispatcher out here where you would do the the filtering in so um, i created a blog some time ago where i was talking about this uh, this concept and uh, exposing your pi system a uh, part of the, the pi system externally and in the web dispatcher you can just say this this url is okay and we want to allow it through all the other ones we don't want to do and actually if you don't have an extra system you can run the sound you can actually just open all the way through on a separate port and then say well on this port we would allow these other services uh, to run and then you can just in your web dispatcher say if you're requesting us on port uh, 8080 then you are only allowed to to use the rest adapter with this uh, rest adapter slash uh, b2b partner name uh, slash whatever so you're really specific about what you're going to give users access to uh, when they're getting uh, the data and that's i think the the most uh, relevant obviously if you have a firewall already in place for, for HTTP traffic that can handle this, it's better to use that because then you know someone else is, is monitoring it and making sure that it, it runs and you can filter correctly and uh, DOS and everything, a uh, DDoS uh, attack is being fixed by this. Um, because the web dispatcher is not the most uh, relevant uh, guy uh, or system to it. Uh, um, so uh, yeah, web dispatcher would would do it, or a level five firewall, uh, whatever. All of them can can do this, and I think that's the the best approach. And if you're just allowing certain type of traffic through. It shouldn't be a, you shouldn't be able to have a, a bad guy out here that is able to do anything on the inside that you're not able to do. If you're a paranoid, you instead of the, the firewall, you would have an API management system 
that can run and um, you can verify and make easier uh, and, and get some more uh, aspects on this um, and say okay you can only request or each client can only request a, a few times a, a minute or something like that so if you want to throttle this and, and make sure that there's limits on you would be able to use your api management or an api management in the cloud that's the only one that's allowed access to call this internal service but in general i would not put my pi system into the the dmc i've just used the the yeah whatever tool i have as a firewall to to block it if on the other hand i'm trying to to get out from here um have some client that are using a proxy that you just have to tunnel through um and the benefit of that is obviously you know um that it, it's not going to to access uh, or yeah obviously this could be placed in some 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 land that you're not supposed to to access all of these extra informations on uh, so in that case you may want to um, uh, see it in a little different view and and try to see it uh, uh, differently so uh, yeah the proxy makes sense if if it's blocked and the good thing is you you at least uh, are able to have a better change tracking about what's going on, who's making which changes, when are they doing it, and what's the, the main purposes uh, behind this. Um, so, so that's um, the main goal of this and, and how this, this could be helpful. Um, so, yeah, outside, maybe have a proxy, but it, it gives uh, some more maintenance you have to to make sure it's working out if you have an api management it might also be the one that you want to expose uh, data and, and say hey um i think my current uh, the client one of the clients i've worked with that had that you are opening per ip address which is a little shaky because ip addresses is uh, bound to to change sometimes not that much but suddenly a partner changes ip address and you have to figure out does this really affect our landscape and it can be a little little challenging